Hi friends, we are in the historic city of Rome, which is the capital of Italy. Rome is located in the central portion of the Italian peninsula on the Tiber River, about 24 kilometers inland from the Tyrrhenian Sea. Once the capital of an ancient republic and empire, whose armies and polity defined the Western world in antiquity and left seemingly indelible imprints thereafter, the spiritual and physical seat of the Roman Catholic Church and the site of major pinnacles of artistic and intellectual achievement, Rome is the eternal city remaining today a political capital, a religious center, and a memorial to the creative imagination of the past. Right in front of his Arch of Constantine, and the uh, next circle is the Colette. So we will uh, take the bus round and we will stop in a place. And even now we will walk in, but we will give you some time for photographs. And then uh, we will get back to the bus and proceed to Vatican City. Rome is the third most populous city in the European Union. Vatican City, the smallest country in the world, is an independent country inside the city boundaries of Rome, and it is the only existing example of a country within a city. Rome is often referred to as the city of seven hills due to its geographic location, and also as the eternal city by the Roman poet Tibullus in the first century BC, and the expression was also taken up by Ovid, Virgil, and Livy. Rome is also called the Caput Mundi, that is, the capital of the world. Rome's history spans 28 centuries. No, no, this is the Colosseum. Wow. Now, Colosseum. Where gladiator fights used to take place. Okay. Then you have a view of Colosseum where gladiator fights used to take place. This was built in AD 70 to 72 and it took almost 10 years for them to complete this Colosseum. Rome has been the site of major human settlement for over three millennia and one of the oldest continuously occupied cities in Europe. Friends, we are walking towards the Colosseum in the city of Rome, walking towards Colosseum in the ancient city of Rome. In 2019, Rome was the 14th most visited city in the world with 8.6 million tourists and the third most visited city in the European Union and also the most popular tourist destination in Italy. Its historic center is listed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. Rome was the host city for the 1960 Summer Olympics. According to the ancient Romans, the name Roma came from the city's founder and first king, Romulus. Traditional stories handed down by the ancient Romans themselves explain the earliest history of their city in terms of legend and myth. The most famous of all Roman myths, perhaps, is the story of Romulus and Remus, the twins who were suckled by a she-wolf. They decided to build a city, but after an argument, Romulus killed his brother and the city took his name. According to the Roman analysts, this happened on 21st April 753 BC. The Colosseum is an amphitheater built in Rome under the Flavian emperors of the Roman Empire. It is also called the Flavian Amphitheater. It is an elliptical structure made of stone, concrete and hard volcanic rock and it stands four stories tall at its highest point. It measures 620 by 513 feet and could hold as many as 50,000 spectators with a base area of 24,000 square meters or 6 acres. The height of the outer wall is 157 feet. The perimeter originally measured 1,788 feet. The central arena is an ellipse 287 feet long 
and 180 feet wide, surrounded by a wall 15 feet high, above which rose tiers of seating. The Colosseum was famously used for gladiator combat. It is the largest ancient amphitheater ever built and is still the largest standing amphitheater in the world despite its age. Construction of the Colosseum began under the Roman Emperor Vespasian between 70 and 72 CE. The completed structure was dedicated in 80 CE by Titus, Vespasian's son and successor. The Colosseum's fourth story was added by the Emperor Domitian in 82 CE. Importantly, the arena was paid for with the plunder from Titus's sack of Jerusalem in 70 CE and it was built by enslaved Jews from Judea. The Colosseum was built as part of an imperial effort to revitalize Rome after the tumultuous year of the four emperors. As with the other amphitheaters, the emperor Vespasian intended the Colosseum to be an entertainment venue hosting gladiator fights, animal hunts, and even mock naval battles. It is located just east of the Palatine Hill on the grounds of what was Nero's Golden House. The artificial lake that was the centerpiece of that palace complex was drained and the Colosseum was built there. Unlike earlier amphitheaters, which were nearly all dug into convenient hillsides for extra support, this Colosseum is a freestanding structure of stone and concrete. The amphitheater seated some 50,000 spectators, as mentioned earlier, who were shielded from the sun by a massive retractable canopy. The Colosseum was the scene of thousands of hand-to-hand -hand combats between gladiators, of contests between men and animals, and of many larger combats, including mock naval engagements, and its soil is drenched with blood, so to say. The Colosseum was damaged by lightning and earthquake, and even more severely by vandalism and pollution. All the marble seeds and decorative materials disappeared as the site was treated as little more than a quarry for more than 1,000 years. Preservation of the Colosseum began in earnest in the 19th century with notable efforts led by Pope Pius VIII and a restoration project was undertaken in the 1990s. It has long been one of Rome's major tourist attractions, receiving close to 7 million visitors annually. Gladiator was a professional combatant in ancient Rome. The gladiators originally performed at Etruscan funerals with an intent to give the dead man armed attendance in the next world. Hence, the fights were usually unto death. As shows in Rome, these exhibitions became widely popular and increased in size from th three pairs at the first known exhibition in 264 BC to 300 pairs in the time of Julius Caesar. Hence, the shows extended from one day to as many as a hundred under Emperor Titus and the Emperor Trajan in his triumph had 5,000 pairs of gladiators fighting. The shows were announced several days before they took place by bills affixed to the walls of houses and public buildings. Copies were also sold in the streets. These bills gave the name of the chief pairs of competitors, the date of the show, and the different kinds of combats. The spectacle began with the procession of the gladiators through the arena, and the proceedings opened with a sham fight with wooden swords and javelins. The signal for real fighting was given by the sound of a trumpet, 
and those who showed fear were driven into the arena with the whips and red hot irons when a gladiator was wounded the spectators shouted he is wounded if he was at the mercy of his adversary he lifted up his forefinger to implore the clemency of the people to whom in the later times of the republic the giver left the decision as to his life or death if the spectators were in favor of mercy they waved their handkerchiefs if they desired the death of the defeated gladiator they turned their thumbs downwards gladiators were drawn from various sources but were chiefly slaves and criminals discipline was strict but a successful gladiator not only was famous but according to the satires of juvenal enjoyed the favors of society women to be the head of a school of gladiators was a well known but disgraceful occupation to own gladiators and hire them out was however a regular and a legitimate branch of commerce with the coming of christianity gladiatorial show began to fall into disfavor the emperor constantine the first actually abolished gladiatorial games in 325 ce the arch of constantine that you see is one of the three surviving ancient roman triumphal arches and is dedicated to the emperor constantine the great the arch was commissioned by the roman senate and was erected in circa 315 ce to commemorate constantine's victory over the roman tyrant maxentius at the battle of milvian bridge on 28th october 312 ce situated between the colosseum and the palatine hill the arch spans the via triumphalis the route taken by victorious military leaders when they entered the city in a triumphal procession the arch of constantine is the largest surviving roman triumphal arch and the last great monument of imperial rome The Tiber is the third longest river in Italy and flowing 406 kilometers 
joins the Tyrrhenian Sea, which is part of the Mediterranean Sea of the western coast of Italy. The Tiber has achieved lasting fame as the main water course of the city of Rome, which was founded on its eastern banks. The Tiber was critically important to Roman trade and commerce as ships could reach as far as 100 kilometers up river. The Romans connected the river with an underground network of tunnels to bring its water into the middle of the city. In ancient Rome, executed criminals were thrown into the Tiber. So almost one hour towards walking. That means now lunch mark on bus. Okay, lunch at the bus mark. So that means we get the picture. Hindi gives us the ready. Sharp items gives us the ready. Chicka handbag gives us carry money. First, we will get one hundred rupees ticket for that. All. But this all, now we will enter at eleven forty-five. Now we are going to be washing the clothes. We will get ticket. Chicka, that means that's the first thing we are going to wash. 